Just for a second, you might say our next guest knows a thing or two about legal dramas. Yeah. That's because he has written, check this out, 47 consecutive bestsellers. Now, Look at that wall, John Nate. Grisham Look is at changing. That Look at that, that wall. wall. Right. Yeah, it goes all the way over He's there. He's changing things up a little bit with his first collection of novellas called Sparring Partners. The three short stories about death, money, and lawyers on the wrong side of the law. John Grisham joins us first on CBS Mornings to tell us a little bit more. How you doing? Good morning. Good morning, guys. Happy to be here. Happy, nice to, have, happy, happy to have you. Now, this is your first collection of novellas. Um, why try something different at this point? I've tried everything so far except poetry. I've had short fiction, <laughs> nonfiction, uh, you know, bad fiction, <laughs> good fiction. I've tried everything. Um, short stories are kind of tough. I'm too long-winded for short stories and too lazy for big, thick novels. So it's somewhere in between. I really like the length of it, though, and I'll, I'll probably do it again. So this was not an accident? No, I've been thinking about it. I've had these stories for a long time. Uh, there are three of them. Well, the first story goes back to the short story collection 10 years ago. Uh, the middle story goes back to a short story I wrote uh, for a, a festival in, in Italy years ago. So I had the, I've had the ideas, and as the uh, birthdays keep going by, I realize these books are not getting published, so why not get them published? And so here we are. I know. You know what, John? I, I was telling you I had a real day moment because I didn't read anything about what this book was about before I started. Right. Because I didn't want, it, I didn't want any tip-offs. So I'm thinking, I read the first story, then go to the second, then the, I go, how is he going to tie all these stories together? Yeah. Then you realize they're not supposed to be tied together, <laughs> but they do have something in common. What lawyers. is that? Lawyers. What do you expect? <laughs> No, Legal but it's more than lawyers. It was something about the desire to escape. Everybody has a desire to escape in all of the different stories. Yeah. And a couple of times you, you take shots at lawyers. I wonder, do you get a kick out of, of po poking fun at lawyers that do not do the right thing? That was also very apparent in this book. Yeah, I've said, I've said for years, most lawyers are honest, hardworking people yes. who don't make a lot of money. You don't want to read about those folks. That's not exciting. You want to read about the guy who steals the money, like Mac in the first story. Yes. Uh, files for bankruptcy, flees in the middle of the leaves his family and goes to the islands for a while. That's what happened in, in the original short story. Uh -huh. Three years later, he wants to come back home. Uh, he misses his daughters. He, he thinks he's, he could be in trouble. He's, you know, you can't live on the run. Yeah. He thought he could. Yeah. It was a great dream to escape and go to the beach. Doesn't work that way, so he comes home. And then you have a death row story that I thought was very different for you. The middle story, Strawberry Moon, is uh, about, the, about the last three hours of a guy's life. He's a young man who's about to be executed, um, and all the appeals are gone, and it, it's what you go through in those last yeah. few hours, and it's very, it's very sad. But my favorite was the last story because it's family drama, brother against brother, brothers against father. There's a hero in the story, a woman who also works in the law office. I like that one. That was going to be a novel. I uh, thought I thought see, I Spark thought Partners could be, could be a full. Yes. It could be if I wasn't so lazy. But I wanted I wanted to, I wanted to uh, uh, you know make it smaller and uh, shorter and more accessible. And uh, it, it, it's a fun story. Did you enjoy this process? Because it's very different from all the things I loved you do. It. I, 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 What'd I, you love about it? Just to, to be able to tell three stories at once. I have a lot of stories. I mean, I pick up stories all the time and. And I keep them for years. The, the, the good ones become novels. The bad ones go away. But there's always a list of stories. And uh, I'm always... What is, what is that process like when you say I pick up stories yes. all of the time? I picked up a story this morning in the green room. What was it? Johnny Depp. I mean... You, oh. I'm joking. I'm, I'm joking. Okay. Oh, well, I'm, <laughs> we were all excited about it. I was like... I, I, I would like to read John Grisham's take on that. from Malice? I didn't know that. That's a whole new uh, specialty of the law. I didn't uh -huh. know. It's a fascinating story, so you, but you, it is a fascinating became, story. I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> you became a, a, a writer to escape the law. Now that you've got 47 consecutive bestsellers, any part of you want to escape this life, or is it as good as it looks? It's good. It's better than it looks. Mm. Even better. I'm, I'm still having fun. I still enjoy publishing the books. I enjoy writing every day. Uh, luckily, there are a lot of ideas. I've never had a serious case of writer's block. And uh, to get to come hang out with you guys twice a year. I'll be back in October, by the way, with the next book. <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> it's a big, thick novel. It's not novellas. Uh, uh -huh. so I, it's almost done. So I, I'm having too much fun. I enjoy this. Oh. You know what I like about you, too? In addition, I just think you're a fantastic human being. But I like your stories never have a, your books never have a preface that you get right into the story. Yeah. I love that. 
Why do you do that? It's just storytelling. It's yeah, a, I think old so fashioned too. storytelling. You, you know, you, you you start with the character, you start with a one plot, you spin off other plots, and you and you take the reader through this journey, uh, and you keep the tension going, which is difficult, the hardest part. Yeah. Uh, but you're, you you lead up to an ending that you hope is not predictable. Yeah. Uh, I hate it when people say, "Oh, I had that book figured out halfway through." Right. And I want to say, "Stop. Okay, tell me the ending," because you you're mm. not going to get it right. Uh, <laughs> that, but it's a real challenge to make the ending satisfying. Uh, but also unpredictable. Mm. It's just, it's, it's, it's a, it's a story, it's old-fashioned storytelling. Real quick, what is your advice to young writers? Do it every day. Mm. Ah. Reps. Do it's it, all about do reps, it, right? It's all every day. Practice every day. That's do fine. you still do it every day? Yeah, five, well, five days a week when I'm wow. at home. In your home? Okay. John Grisham, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. Always fun, nice. guys. Yeah, Sparring Partners is on sale now, so make sure you go get it. It's an incredible book, like we expected.